to the channel my name is t and this week's vlog is reading why a trash okay <laughs> i know y'all like t i know we're not really about to read trash like what you clean you don't read you know you don't be reading trashy stuff okay why a trash is different this series pose for the thumbnail why a trash <laughs> But it's really not though. Like it's really typically it's like really clean. But so I coined YA trash from Chrissy. So, but these are actually clean. Um, they're not really bad. <laughs> so I already read the first book in the series, so which is the selection, and we follow this girl America, and basically she's selected with like twenty other girls, and they go live in with the king, and it's. A dystopian so all of these girls have to be like pure and um, they can have like no other contact with other people and they're basically dying for his love Miss America makes it to the elite okay and this is where we left off at I am on page 200 chapter 21 these are really clean reads I'm gonna try to get through them um, all I know right now is that her heart is torn between two but one of them, the king, he just had to leave. But she had a past lover that she had. To, well, not lover. They're not, like, they, they're, there's no sex or, like, I don't even think I've read language in this book. But, um, yeah. So, Kira Cass is actually a Christian. So, um, I didn't know that. But she's actually a Christian if you follow her. Um, so, these are clean books. So, she's a, Christ, she's a Christian who writes books. She doesn't write Christian fiction. Um, there's like some minor allegories of um, Christianity, but it's not the main basis of this book. So we get to Miss America, and she's part of the six. And so 35 girls came, only six remain. So we're in the six. I'm at the part where Max. Um, I'm gonna try to do spoiler free. Okay. So the first book I gave four and a half stars but i am gonna stop doing ratings so four and a half stars but it was really good so that i'm gonna do thumbs up and thumbs down that's what i'm gonna do so i gave that book a thumbs up i think this is this series um maybe i'll just write the overall series but this is really good as well i am on page 200 and there are mm, 323 pages so i technically can finish this today so i might try to finish this today because over the next week before september so this is the last week of last full week of august before september because september i really want to get my redeeming love vlog done like september i'm reading redeeming love like i am reading redeeming love in september so anyway the next book is going to be the one and it says 31 girls into the selection only one can win this is the same picture of america so i'm assuming she's winning i'm not reading none of the synopsis the next one ooh, is the air. We all know what that means. So somebody had a baby. And then the crown. Somebody got the crown. And then this is a companion series of the Happily Ever After. So I originally found those books when I had I did like a T Day vlog a while ago. And I found those books with Christy. And yeah. So I went to the thrift store today. And I found them action set so i'm gonna go and get store credit for those books and get some more books so i might take you guys with me because i want to do that tomorrow so i may do that tomorrow or monday because i also have teacher work day monday so monday might be good to do that just do another t-day vlog so we'll see but yeah this series is so good so far i actually like ya dystopian better than adult dystopian um, because I feel like it's more imaginative because, like, they don't want to put too much in it for the kids, for the YA. And then recently I found out that YA was actually from, like, 15 to 25. I'm only 32, okay? And everybody at work still think I'm 25, so I can read YA. But anyway, I have enjoyed reading adult books, but we are about to read some a YA trash this week.
I finished book two in like two hours. It was so good. Okay. Okay. I don't know if I can do this spoiler free. Let's just say America is going to go get her man. Okay. And I am all for it. So book number three is, hold on, let me grab it. Okay. Book number three is the one and I'm not even reading the back of it. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I just want to read it. But I was going to go play Paladea game. But I think that I'm about to get cozy and read this book. So I'll update y'all tomorrow because I'm about to wrap my hair up. And I am not filming with my hair wrapped up. Okay. So I'm about to wrap my hair up and I'm about to get cozy. Oh my goodness. How many pages is this one? Let me see. I'm holding my phone. My tripod is literally. Oh no, it's in the living room. Hold on. Let me see. How many pages? Goodness gracious, it's like so many book ex. Okay, 323 pages. I'm about to read this. I, it's 8.46. I don't know what time I'm going to get done. I might show y'all the book while I'm reading it, update y'all throughout. But this series is so good. So it's good. I'm really enjoying it a lot, a lot, a lot. So this is book three. And I already got like the whole series. So I can just keep reading, which I love. So... So I'm at work in the break room and I am about to read this. I'm on chapter eight and it's getting really good and intense. So today is Tuesday. Let's see if I can get done with this series by Saturday. We'll see. But first, lunch. All right, guys. So update on the selection series. I am still doing this vlog. I will be done. Um by friday because i just got the audiobook so my goal is to be done august 31st today is wednesday yeah today is wednesday because september 1st i'm starting my redeeming love vlog so i think i'm about to just be like a book vlogger <laughs> like i'm just gonna vlog books i don't know we'll see if other videos come but it's so much easier for me to just talk to y'all as i'm reading a book so yeah, but I am really enjoying it. We're getting to the part where America is finally confessing her feelings and letting go of her past. So I'm super excited about that. But yeah, I am enjoying it. And I will update y'all as I go along. I'll probably finish book three today and then book four tomorrow and Friday. And I'm going to do an overall series. I'm like series review, but I really am enjoying this series a lot. But now... We go to work. Okay, I just finished the one. It was so good. I I didn't expect that in there. Well, I did, but then some things happened that made me not expect that in there. So, yeah, it was really good. But I'm at break. I'm break in the like break room. But I have two more books to go, so I'm definitely gonna get done. I listened to the audio at three. I'm rocking it so it was good though i really enjoyed it and i can't wait to read the next one so i'll probably start it tonight after bible study we'll see but yeah i'm enjoying the series <laughs> i hear kids waking up but i'm right across across the room across the hall from my classroom and i hear my kids so but yeah, I hope y'all are having a good day. It's Thursday. Oh no, it's not. It's Wednesday. I'm talking like I'm about to end it. But what are y'all reading? What have y'all been reading lately? What series have you read this year? Hey guys, so I am in the car. It is rainy. I just got home from work. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this vlog up because I I am not enjoying book five of the selection series. So I'm gonna just say I read the trilogy. <laughs> And I know that's not how it worked, but I feel like we could have stopped at book three. Um, so I'll just say that we could have stopped at book three. Now, for books one, two, and three, I do recommend them. Um, minimum language, no open door scenes. Okay for teenagers, I think maybe mm, 16 and up. Eh, I would say... I would say 14 and up because I actually was reading one of the books with my 14 year old niece and she really enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, I would say 14 and up. It's not crazy. Um, but yeah, it's really, I really enjoy books one, two, and three. So yeah, I will um, talk to y'all in the next video. Bye guys.